gentlemen. Like a fine sip of wine. Your favorite cross stitch pattern, finishing the last stitch. Working on your favorite sweater pattern, knitting on a warm or cool breezy day. Or having a nice cup of coffee in the bright, sunny, early morning hours. One must savor those special moments. Therefore I say, hats off to Flossmas. Happy Flossmas, day seven. Hope you're all doing well. I don't know why I keep forgetting the date every day when I do this, every single day. Anyways, I hope you're all doing well. It is Saturday, so I've been up. It is now about almost one o'clock, I think. I've been up since about seven o'clock. I've been stitching and relaxing. I had my morning coffee. Last night, I went. I said I was going to hopefully stitch. I didn't do anything last night after I filmed my video. I had my dinner and I went to bed. So I got up this morning, I did some stitching and I have some progress to show you. So let me turn you around. I'll show you my progress. And then I'm gonna keep stitching today because I can and I'm enjoying the day and I'm enjoying the progress. So. Very pleased with what I'm doing. Again, as always, working on my Stickadee and Von der Vienberg. Autumn Qu Forest Quaker. Let me turn it around. As you can see, I've made some decent progress today. So, I was able to get this Quaker completely done. Everything lines up. Yay! So, all of my Quakers are done. I then went ahead and added in the baby hog of some variety. So, this last page is completely stitched. So, now I don't have to keep flipping back and forth on all my pages. And all I have left is this one page right here to finish. So I went ahead and added in the, the green here. And because this green is also up on this green leaf, I went ahead and stitched the green up here. So that green is now completely stitched. So I can put that green away and I'm color completed that color. So I'm gonna fill in this, green, uh, this leaf right here with the brown that goes in the green leaf and that color will be completely stitched. So then, and I think it's the same color as the fox yeah it's the same color as the body of the fox so once i get that color done that color will be done and then i'm going to come back and work on the 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 parent hog and i will get that motif done so i will hopefully get this uh one two three motifs done i will be caught up to my one motif a day since i i didn't stitch uh, two two days of motifs, and then I only have falcon, large leaf, mushroom, F, and Z. Somebody had said I should wait and do the Z last, so the it's the last letter of the alphabet, and finish the um the alphabet last. I don't know. We'll see. 
Um, we'll see what I decide to do. Not sure what I want to do, but um, I don't know. I'm getting closer and closer, and I want to keep stitching so I can get this done. This falcon is going to take a while, and this large leaf is going to take a while, just because they are large uh, motifs. But this is only two colors. This is only one color, so luckily that's not too bad, but um, this is a lot of counting. This is just a large uh, full coverage motif, so it will take a little bit of time to get done, but I will be focused on stitching. I have a lot of time today and tomorrow to stitch, so maybe early week I will have a finish. So we will see what happens. I am looking forward to getting that done, and then I can move on to my next piece. I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the comments that I've been getting in my Flossmas videos. I had to laugh. Yes, what day was it? Thursday, I made a sandwich for my lunch. And I could not believe the amount of comments I had got about my sandwich making. Not that it was bad, but about the fact, well, the fact that I use a uh, Miracle Whip. I am a Miracle Whip person, but I do like mayo as well. But I, I when I, in the house, I buy Miracle Whip. That is what I grew up with. I am a mir I grew up with Miracle Whip. My family always used Miracle Whip. I buy Miracle Whip for my house. When I'm out, most places do not have Miracle Whip in restaurants, so I do use mayo. I dip my french fries in mayo. So I'm not opposed to using mayo around places. But I do like Miracle Whip as well. Also, uh, many Starbursts, people have said that they do taste different. I do think they taste different. I've also eaten the whole bag already. So that just tells you how much how addicting they are. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah. Also, yesterday's video, I had talked about my pine cones in my trunk. And a couple people have stated about concerns about putting the pine cones directly into the trunk because then I can't put any kind of fabric or flosses or threads in there because of the concern of the scent from the pine cones seeping into the wood and then um, that would then be in I'm not worried about that um, I know I had said about maybe using it for a display case for smalls and stuff as long as it would not damage the the integrity of the fabric as in discoloration of any kind of finish that I would put in there I'm not going to be concerned about like scents if anything uh, the scent of cinnamon rubbing off onto my finishes would be a plus so but I really don't know what I'm going to do with the trunk the rest of the year other than the fact that it would be a nice way of using it more I, I wanted something to use for, I didn't want something that was just holiday-esque to put out because I need something that I can have in my house year-round since I have such limited storage. So, with all those things, thank you all for the comments. Uh, make sure you, you're hitting that like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love if you could subscribe and hit the like button because that definitely helps me out with getting my video out to other people on YouTube with that lovely YouTube algorithm. I'm going to get ready and go to the gym now. So, I've only gotten to the gym once so far this week. I need to go to the gym. So, I'm going to go to the gym, run on the treadmill, and use the stair master. And I will see you guys in a little bit. I'll probably check in one more time after I get some more stitching done later this evening before I edit this video. So I hope you're all having a wonderful stitching time. It is Saturday. So I hope you're all able to get some lots of stitching or knitting in. And I will see you all soon.
y'all. Wanted to check back in one more time before I wrap it up for today. As you can see, I went ahead and filled in the big leaf. Or, yeah, and it's not really a big leaf, but it is a leaf. It is done. And so I finished that brown color, and that is put away. And I started on the large hog of some variety. And I'm almost done with that hog. So... I'm getting pretty close. I'm going to try to finish up this hog tonight. Hopefully I get it done. It is getting pretty late. It's almost 9 o'clock tonight. And so I don't know. I'm getting pretty tired already. So I'm going to do my best. But if I don't get it done, I don't get it done. Because I'm getting pretty dang close. So I'm pretty, pretty pleased with my progress on this piece so far. I may... I don't know. We'll see. So I'm I'm going to try to shoot for finishing this one up and then I might go and do some knitting or I might just go to bed, but I still need to upload, edit and upload this video. So I'm um, going to do that and then we will move on from there. So I, again, it is Saturday. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Thank you all very much for everything as far as liking, subscribing, commenting, and especially all of those great comments. I'm laughing every time I see a Miracle Whip comment. And I've gotten like three since I commented about it earlier today. So it's making my day. With that, have a wonderful night. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow. And as always, don't forget to always be creative. <laughs>